So get, get him. Yeah, yeah. We're coming to New York, bro. Come to New York. Have you ever been? Not yet, not yet, man. Not yet. You're gonna prepare to fall in love. Hey, 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 Tiki Baba, who all of you know as uh, one of the most amazing NFL players ever to play for the Giants and play for the NFL, period. So please uh, join me in introducing uh, Mr. Tiki Baba and also Mr. Gordon Stewart from uh, Hua Toyota. Scarier, having 12, 300 pound guys running straight at you when you're trying to return a punt mm -hmm. or being on stage with me right now. If, if there were 12 guys on a football field... Let me call you like a quarterback. 44, 20, hut, hut! Back in your seats at 3.30, get all hyped up on sugar, and then you can uh, listen to hyped up Casey Nice. Landon, you haven't met the vlog yet. What do you think thus far? You ready for round two? Oh, yeah. What do you look forward to the most? Yeah. Casey, yeah. definitely. Casey, so... Yeah. Six miles on 740 ways. Pretty simple. You don't think you're in the frame? I, I think you're in the frame. This thing is heavy, bro. Yeah. Zoom. Got it. Ready to go. Such a perfect. Look at this place. When you guys were at lunch, I flew the drone in here. Terrible idea. I honestly don't think I've ever been to the great state of Alabama in my life. Six different sub-Saharan African countries. I've hung out in Kabul before, but I don't think I've ever been to Alabama. It's awesome here. <laughs> Entrepreneur audience here. So I want to really zero in my talk and share with you something that is more, more pointed, more direct than I could maybe on the YouTube channel or the vlog or anything like that because I feel like we all kind of speak the same way. But it means to be an entrepreneur. Simply as, when you start with an idea, and then starting with nothing more than that idea, you end up with something that looks like success. You know, if that were awful, like being a bike messenger, don't ever do that, no matter how cool it looks in the movies. Being a bike messenger is a terrible, terrible job. The, the catalyst for that, the thing that was like, I can do this, or I'm going to do this, was nothing more than an idea. It was this idea that I could be something more than a guy who works in the back of the kitchen doing the very worst responsibility that, that exists in a kitchen. Real size plastic garbage bag from a restaurant garbage can. That's one of those thick, heavy black ones. And it's so heavy you have to lean forward a little bit. And then as you're walking out the door, the bottom of the bag punctures just enough to flood out all the seafood restaurant garbage juice into the back of your shoes. So that was my job. <laughs> and the, the catalyst to walk away from that was an idea. It was just this idea. And behind that idea was a whole bunch of passion and all these other intangibles. But it was an idea. And it was an idea that I believed in. I don't know if it was enough that I would be successful. It was enough for me to make that first step. It was enough. And that idea, that idea of literally almost an institutionalized embracing of not knowing what to do is what excited me about starting a technology company. I never predicted the outcome that we had, but it was, it, it was being, it was starting that company that led me to starting the vlog, which um, in, in some way or another brought all of you here today. It was like, there was no way to kind of project, or predict rather, the path that that one decision would take me on. That's the big takeaway for today, is that when I sit back and I look at the history, which has been a tumultuous one of my own career, my, my life as an adult, which started at age 14, um, there is a common through line, there's a common narrative. Every success follows that single line. Facing the unknown, believing in that idea, and just stopping at nothing to find success, even though the manifestation of that success is never, ever what you'd imagine. 
start with this idea that's fueled by passion, you put your head down and you keep running. So if working with others, enabling others, being enabled by others is, is, is what gives you a sense of satisfaction in life, then that is exactly what you should be pursuing um, and nothing else. I would always be suspect of other people's definitions of success, including mine. Quickest question. It's better be fast. Who, you, who do you got your money on? Floyd or Connor? Please, <laughs> please say Connor. First of all, I got tickets to the fight. No, you what? didn't. What? Floor seats. No. Uh, I would be putting money, and I'm not a gambler. I would be putting money on McGregor. This is the thing. Like, I'm a fighter. I've been fighting my whole life. I boxed for like 10 years. All that matters here is Mayweather's defense. Mm. Gregor's going to gas himself out because he's looking for that heroic knockout, which is what he should be looking for. Because even the chance, the only chance he's got is like a, to land a haymaker, a hailmaker, uh, a hail mary that knocks him out. So I, I train kickboxing. And you talk about when you learn to fight and you fight with your feet, and like you've got all these forms of defense and offense, you don't think just with your hands. It's very different. And I don't think McGregor's going to be able to turn that off. And that's all Mayweather knows. Mayweather's all up here. There's no way he's going to be able to resist. McGregor's going to be able to resist, like, and that's where his brain's going to be. I don't think he's going to be able to turn that off. So I, I want him to win because he's the best trash talker we've ever seen. And when it comes to boxing, all I care about is the theatrics, not the barbarianism of it. I think Floyd is going to wake up. I think he's going to take off his robe. He's going to wake up. Bell is just going to go like this for like, Nine rounds, and he's gonna look at the judges, and he's gonna go like this, and he's like, can you go to the bank and like deposit this? And he's like, can you come, can you come to the outside of my Rolls Royce and make it this time? That's what I think is gonna happen. Best question of so far. Question because you are a young man, and I hope to impact you in a positive way. And my question is, did you ever get any offers besides CNN? And if so, why did you take CNN? Question, smart question. If I had known you were going to ask me, I would just walk out the stage. I had a fatigue with the vlog and a fatigue with YouTube. I do now. I'm kind of getting a little bit sick of sort of what YouTube is and what it's capable of, and I want to reinvent that. And I'm excited about different opportunities. I'm excited about like what YouTube Red might be doing. I'm excited about different directions it might go in. But I want a different direction. I wanted a different direction. So the gigantic media company with resources that are vast meant that like, Here's an opportunity not only to sort of promote what I'm doing in the technology space, but really like seek out new paths and new trajectories within the media space on YouTube. And it was an early conversation I had with, with CNN and Turner, which was just that like, like we could do interesting things together, but I'm not interested in going on CNN. Like I literally don't know a person who watches CNN besides my dad, and like none of my audience watches CNN. Like it's not a place for us. I don't, I don't fit there. I don't, I also don't know what the hell they're talking about most of the time on any broadcast. And he's like, that's not a fit for me. They like, they've been unbelievably supportive in letting us do whatever it is we want to do. And they've been completely hands off everywhere except for when we say we need help. The thing that news companies have, like CNN has, where it's every feed from cameras that they have all over the world. Fifth grade tour of CNN. And they're like, here's where we have all of our live feeds. And I was like, can I have a question? Those are all live? And they're like, yes. And I was like, can we have all those? And they're like, Sure. Building like a product, we're building a mobile app that will let like any of you access all of these feeds in a way that provides content. Like, I want that. Like, I wish that that existed right now. Instead of wishing it exists, we're going to make it. We're only able to make it because the resources they're bringing to the table. One little taste of all of the opportunities that this acquisition brought. And when I, when I really considered the other opportunities that we were looking at, none of them were were so exciting and none of them were with such a, an open-minded partner. I don't have 14 to ask a question like that. <laughs> it's going to Thank you. And thank you everybody for being the rest of your time. Thanks for coming out. Thank you for having me. Awesome, <laughs> Especially if it's all part on I was like, how do I hate this hardcore? You remember me from Canada? Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Sorry, bud. Hey, come on. Hop in there. Thank you. Oh, there, bro. We're going to get some shots soon, man. Meeting Case Nice that on Friday, that was pretty awesome. Landon is uh, the intern, new intern with Turnkey Connections. He's doing a great job. I've met Casey Neistat once before. That was up in Canada at Haste and Hustle. Um, he's a really cool dude. Uh, he'll take a selfie with anybody. He'll stop and take, talk to you, chat with you. 
uh, I know you're a really busy guy. I appreciate it. And um, I didn't catch it on camera because I just kind of threw all my stuff down. But immediately after when I was talking to him and making the connection of that we had met before and giving him my business card, I remembered that I had a stack merch hat in my backpack. So I threw all my camera gear down, threw everything down and sprinted into the building in which he had walked into and caught him right before he went up in the elevator and gave him one of my hats. So Casey, if you have the hat, thanks. Thanks for the great speech. Thanks for the motivation. The Logic video that was last week, um, when I went to the Logic concert, that thing's blown up. Thank you everyone to everyone who's liked it, commented on it, um, shared it whatever. Appreciate all the support that I've been getting. And um, if you're a new subscriber, thanks. Make sure you're hitting the like button and you're sharing with your friends. We're back. We're back. Um, a lot has been going on and uh, hopefully I'll be able to catch everybody up this week. This really cool new hat from uh, my trip. But um, hey Gary, is that a typo? Like I kind of get what you're trying to say here. There's days off and then Monday, Wednesday through Friday, is all crossed out. So, is that supposed to say no days off? Just a question. But, uh, anyways. That